such a nice day in Central Park right now. Ooh. So, um, today's video, let's see, what are we going to talk about? Guys, there's so much to talk about and I'll be honest with you, <laughs> there's so many times where I don't make a video just because there's so many things I want to talk about that I end up getting so overwhelmed. Um, but today I just want to talk about how life is, you know, after this crazy year, 2020, you know, it's still happening. It's the year still not over, you know, it's, the year is still not over. Um, but still being hopeful, you know, not, not needing outside validation, not needing your environment to be perfect in order to thrive, right? We're all we ever need. And like, when we could just realize that like, our environment doesn't define us, our paycheck doesn't define us, our job does not define us, right? Like how many of you guys out there, maybe like you lost your job and you're thinking like, well, who am I now? Who am I? You know, I don't earn anything. I don't earn money. Like, I can't live. Like, who am I, right? Because when I used to work at these dead end jobs, I used to put so much of my self worth and my value into how many hours I put in, my paycheck, you know, and just, just that trick, that rat race trick, you know, that illusion, that illusion right when you start to realize that like you are abundance right I'm I, I consider myself a healthy person right and I just think about like how abundant it is to have two hands that just work right or like two eyes that just work or two feet that just work like my body just works like I can just breathe effortlessly I'm young, I can move my body, like, how much abundance is in that? Like, how much would you pay to have that? Like, people who are unhealthy, unfortunately, like, they would give anything, any amount of money to have that because that's something that money cannot buy, you know? Like, having health, health is wealth, you know? And like, even if you lost your job, even if you, you know, you're feeling very lost, with all of this uncertainty and I know I'm feeling very lost too like a lot of us you know we don't know what the future holds right a lot of it is like kind of up in the air like if you were to tell me in 2019 that that I would be you know <laughs> seeing New York the way it is I would be like that's a movie it's fake you know so like it makes you it makes me feel worried sometimes like thinking about like what is 2021 gonna look like you know because this year was a shock is 2021 going to be a sh more of a shock, you know, so for me, I really just, I, I really try to take it moment by moment, try to take a day at a time and re be as present as possible and not neglect what I can control because I can control so much and so can you. There's so many things in your life right now that you can control, but yet you focus on the things you can't control you know think about your energy think about where is it going is your energy going towards just a, a wall and you're hitting that wall every time because you're just frustrated well I can't control this I can't control this or are you using that energy for things well I can control the way that I take care of myself I can control you know taking care of my loved ones having a beautiful meal just enjoying life as it is and just because this is this is never gonna be like this again you know life is always changing like there's never gonna be a day like today you know and maybe you'll look back and maybe you'll think like well there was a lot of positives to this time there's a lot of you know peace and quiet maybe there's more peace and quiet you know depending on where you live and you know like having quarantine and stuff like people you know are a little bit less um rambunctious you know where I am in New York you know there's still a lot of noise in the background there's still a lot of noise in my building and with neighbors and in and out and just there's always noise but we can appreciate what we have now because maybe in the future we're not gonna have that you know we're not gonna have the same circumstances 
no feeling is final. Everything is temporary in life. Everything is constantly changing. The fall leaves right now, constantly changing. Like, look at this, this beautiful red tree right here. Boop. So pretty. I love fall, you know? I really love fall. Fall and spring, those are my two uh, favorite seasons, you know? But just thinking about this year and just how it went, you know? Let me know in the comments, you know? What was the worst thing? What was the best thing? How are you gonna learn from it? Lessons growing from this year and just putting it behind us, just letting go, you know? You can't have like both of your hands just filled you know, you have to just let go of whatever you're, you're holding on to so you can allow those gifts in, you know? Because um, as long as you're holding on to that resentment or holding on to what ifs, you know? Well, it should have went this way and I lost so much money this year and I had all these plans for this year and it didn't work out that way, you know? This year was like a perfect example for me of like momentum <laughs> not working out, you know, like the opposite momentum of just like, because you know, people affect us, we have outside influence, you know, as much as we are a thriving force, you know, we are like in control of our destiny, you know, maybe, maybe people discourage us, maybe the state of the world, the energy outside discourages us, you know, because we see, well, the world is changing in a different direction, I can't really do that, I have to do this now, you know. And it makes me wonder, like, how much of your decision making is really yours, right? You have to ask yourself that sometimes. I know I do. I ask myself that all the time. I ask myself in the morning, who do I want to be today? What should I do? What do I want to do? What do I need to do? All these questions. Because if you ask yourself, like, these open-ended kind of questions, you're really going to, like, just start to learn, like, what your intuition is like what you really want because so many people you know they coerce us they persuade us they make us think that we want something but when really we don't you know like being you know easily manipulated or gullible and you just feel like well that's what everyone else is doing so that's what i'll do but is it what you really want to do you know so when i wake up in the morning i always ask myself questions like that who do i want to be today what do I want to do? What should I do? What do I need to do? What's my main goal of the day? And, you know, really, am I letting just outside influence get the better of me? You know? Because in the end of the day, we need to think for ourselves. We need to think for ourselves. We need to be the captain of the sh We need to be the captain of the ship that is our life. Like, we need to run the course, you know? And I feel like looking at my day, if certain things don't go right in the beginning, then it's like the whole day goes to hell, right? Like sometimes it's like that, you know? But you have to like, you have to resist that, you know? That's why I'm, I'm such a believer in, in morning routines and just getting your morning, allowing that time to just pump you up for your day. That's why I love dancing in the morning. It just gets my vibes up and it just gets me feeling like so, powerful like no one can touch me like I have this aura of the invincibility <laughs> you know like you know so and I don't have to fit in I don't have to fit in you know I'm my own person I don't have to fit in so ask yourself you know are you forcing yourself to fit in when you don't want to right are you thinking things that you really don't believe in and you're like trying to trying to somehow convince yourself that you're the one who's wrong because no one else can be wrong, right? The majority always wins. You have to really ask yourself, like, deep down inside, you know, what, what do I want and how am I going to get it? And is this the life that I want to live? Because in the end of the day, you're living your life. Someone else isn't living it for you. And that's it. Like, it's so it's so simple yet it's so complex like you're you're living your life yet so many people they go based on other people's opinions right like it sounds simple enough like it's my life I'm gonna do what I want you know and and some of it is like we don't know what we want 
you know, we need guidance, we need direction. And, you know, for that, I always say, like, just work on your personal development, work on your self-awareness, and load up on information, because then you're gonna see where you stand on things. You're gonna start to understand yourself once you start reading new books and taking in new information and seeing all sides of all stories, not just having a very, you know, tunnel vision sort of view on life, you know, like, because then you can kind of see the whole scope and then make the decision for yourself, you know? So, yeah, like, make life happen for you. Make life your, the way that you want it to be, you know, like, like what is holding you back from having the life that you want? What is it? Is it people? Is it your own mental blockages? Is it your environment? Is it finances? Is it, is it like your parents, what they would think? Like, what is it? And what would it feel like to get past that and do whatever you want to do anyway and just not care, right? Because like, once you attach yourself to the feeling of whatever it is that you want and you do that with repetition, that's why I love affirmations because you constantly are saying them in the shower when you light a candle throughout your day. You're reminded. You see the crystal, you say the affirmation. And it's that's it. You're reprogramming yourself. You're reshaping yourself. Your subconscious mind is now picking up on that, right? So try affirmations. Like if you guys are lost, a good step, I'll link it in the description, but like a good first step is working on affirmations. And I have an affirmation video where, you know, I talk about using affirmations. Just, it's so easy, guys. It's so easy to do. All you have to do is just stick with it. You know, the hardest part is like, just sticking with it because like in the beginning you're not gonna see that like results you know you're not see the results so fast because and then a lot of people they just give up right they want immediate results they're like skeptical about it they're like no I'm not gonna just say it's a thing and it's gonna happen you work on it you know 21 days 21 day affirmation challenge you'll see you'll see that it's gonna help you so I'll link it in the description but let me know guys I know I touched on a lot of different things in this video, but let me know what you're what you're thinking about right now. Um, what's on your mind? Thanks.